Right. Dear Mr. President, dear Mr. President Donald Trump, I should say. Uh, we keep hearing lately about all these flavor bans and everything that's going on in America that's got to do with THC, not vaping. It's got nothing, absolutely nothing to do with vaping. Just because someone used a vape battery to inhale liquid weed, which you got it legal in some states and in some other states is not, it's got nothing to do with vaping. Using a battery to inhale something that might be legal in your state, it's got nothing to do with vaping, okay? Now you're trying to impose on some states, some flavor bans, or your senates or your congressmen are, I don't know how it works over there. This is a typical UK vapor store and I will show you how it looks. It's very small. It's a small business, um, which gives me a nice living. But I'm just gonna show you the impact the flavor ban is gonna have on millions and millions of people's lives, okay? First of all, let's talk about the jobs because when you came to power, you was all about making America great, give all the jobs back to Americans, build a wall and all that. That's got nothing to do with us, but never mind. This is, I'm still in the UK. I'm in a small town uh, in the UK, but this is the impact American flavors has to my shop, right? American brand, keep it 100. Made in the USA. Yeah, you can see it clear. American brand, made in California. American brand, made in New Jersey. American brand, it's got the USA flag on it. Oh, look what, there's an American flag in there. This is definitely American. Cronuts, we never heard of a Cronut in here in the UK, but at least we can vape a Cronut and we see what the fuzz is about a Cronut. I don't know, you seem like a guy that likes your Cronuts. Oh, look what, an American brand from Ohio, Dublin, Ohio. This is new. I just went and got them the other day. Cutwood. American brand. American brand. Another American brand. American brand. This is an American brand. This is new. I only had them for like a couple of weeks. Made in the USA. Strawberry Queen, made in the USA. Big American flag at the back. Ruthless. I don't need to say anything more. I believe this is a company that might survive with the flavor ban. Juice Head, American brand, made in California. You're trying to impose a flavor ban over there? Well, guess what? That company's gonna die. That company's gonna die. This is all American exports. That when they come to the UK, they have to be TBD compliant, they have to be checked, they have to give emissions, they have to give lab reports, and then we can buy them in the shops and sell them. And how we sell them? It has to be over 18s only. And guess what? It can be that bad because our national health uh, services, they also, in the hospitals, we opening uh, vaping shops whoever's got the money if there is a place in a hospital you can go crack a deal open a vape shop if you want help people quit smoking we do that over here with other methods as well nicotine pouches 
we do that with a lot of starter kits but this is just a fraction of what i've shown you here this is what you're trying to impose look how much exports you're doing i've got over 30 different american brands in my store at the moment right and this is a small business in the uk one shop only one shop okay imagine all these hardware is all designed by american people for example this is made by heathen heathen his name is billy he's a firefighter in philadelphia and he does design devices as a hobby okay uh there's other devices joel robinson uh mr just right one he designed for chinese factories he designed so he gets paid that's more jobs that's more jobs so you got the designers you got some chinese companies that got offices designing teams in california imagine all these jobs going away from america we're not only saving lives but you're giving people you're letting people put food on the table send their kids to school and we know how expensive that is in america nowadays so flavor ban no don't do it no way so how i'm gonna end this video i i don't really know because imagine me even me in the uk in the small uk over the pond imagine me losing all these brands that actually my uk clients love love so think twice that's what i gotta say think twice mr president